Look at this. gonna get a toy because he's so excited Hi. he doesn't know what to do <laughs> he's oh, so excited baby. oh my Where's goodness he's Where's gonna get a toy? toy that's what he does when he gets excited where is the toy where is it there is gumby oh, he found baby. gumby he's so excited oh, Your face next to him so he can kiss you. He's trying to kiss you. <laughs> Good boy. He's so oh, shaking so much. <laughs> Tanika made it from California to Fargo, but it wasn't for long. She was only there for a few hours with me. We went to sleep and we drove seven and a half hours to Deadwood, South Dakota for a one week vacation. And look at my dog is with us of course, cause look at this boy. Gotta bring his little comfort toys to make him feel comfortable. We're two women. We come to the hotel, they automatically give us two beds. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Not around these parts. Not around these parts. <laughs> so anyways, um, so what I got, I ordered a bag called You've Been Ducked. The Jeep owners duck other Jeep owners. And this is gonna be my first time. I've been ducked four times, two rubber duckies and two stickers. But I never ducked anybody. 25 rubber duckies. <laughs> it's not for you. It's not for you. I wanna duck a Jeep, my first Jeep, with the regular kind, the original. So how exciting. So whenever we see a cool ass Jeep, no, actually fuck that. Whenever we see a Jeep that's got nothing on it, or it's not even like, what do you call it? Um, decked out. It's not decked out, Spruce like step. mine. Mine ain't decked out. We go and duck them. We gotta welcome them to the club. Yeah, they deserve all the ducks. Shit, maybe in return I'll get more ducks. More ducks. Gizmo does, oh, like duck karma? It's not Give him that pirate one. one. Hell no, he's got his toys, you're fine. Look at him, he's so excited. It's not for you, doggy. <laughs> Gizmo, you want pizza? Yummy for your tummy? Tomorrow, we're gonna explore Deadwood. Okay. We'll explain what Deadwood is. Just stay tuned. It's the next morning, it's breakfast time, and when we eat, my dog eats. That's his sausage right there. He's got little pieces. Yeah. He's fancy, so we gotta cut him up. Good boy, Delicious. Gizmo, what do you want? I don't understand. Oh, what are you looking at? What do you want? So just because it's your birthday week, you think you can get whatever you want? That is so bold. What makes you think he can approach and the plane? And he's scared of heights, okay? <laughs> he's willing to risk it all for that sausage. Why, why did he reach his whole ass face over there? Only because it's your birthday week. Rude. Wait, what happened? I just went to the bathroom. What happened? Where's my dog? Look, when you took the plate away and you realized there was some sausage, you don't want to be with me anymore. And he's mad and now he's over there. So, because this table is empty, you're telling me he's mad? Yeah, he abandoned me. How can you tell? He won't even look at me. He was like, guess what? Well, uh, I had to say this one thing. You're terrible. <laughs> he ate a whole sausage. <laughs> you are terrible. <laughs> you are mean. We're the only ones on the road so far. We're on our way to see the Friendship Tower. What are we seeing? The Friendship Tower. It's, and then um, Gizmo. I'll give you the history on it. Oh, we, there's the parking spot right there, and we're gonna walk up the trail. He's excited. I know. He knows. He can feel that we're slowing down. It's called the Mount Roosevelt uh, Friendship Tower. Is what it's called. Yeah, this is where you find friends. People wonder what this um, Friendship Tower is about. Okay, apparently Captain Seth Bullock in 1919 from Deadwood. Mm -hmm built this and dedicated it to his friend, Theodore Roosevelt. He's one of them on the Mount Rushmore, right? Mm -hmm. 
And in my opinion, if you're building At least I think so. a form of statue for a friend of yours because he was that special to you. I'm gonna build you a statue. Not that men can't do that for other men, but it's pretty gay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they probably had a love affair. They probably, you know, made some love from time to time on a horse or two. Gay history with Carolina Broke Brokeback Mountain type shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But that's what we're gonna go see. We're gonna go see the Friendship Tower, and from what I've seen in pictures, it, it doesn't look that cute, and it's very like he could have done better. But it's okay, Aunt Gizmo, come on. So let's go ahead. Um, we're gonna walk the loop. The loop is only 0.6 miles to get. Up, I think there and back overall, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a small little, quick little hike. I don't even consider it a hike, but it's cute so far. Are you coming? Are y'all coming? Or am I going by myself? Yeah, they're gay. That's Seth Bullock and that's Theodore Roosevelt. Seth and Teddy enjoyed a lifelong friendship that included hunting and camping expeditions. Brokeback Mountain type shit, I told you. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's go see this gay shit real quick. I like your hair color. Hey. Very nice. Y'all remember Tanika? She came with me on vacation to Hawaii. Oh, hell no. It's a loop pipe. Do you think it goes around? There's a sign right there that says trail, arrow, that way. Oh, thank God for the signs. Well, thank God for you reading them. I was going to just pick one. <laughs> and you would probably pick the wrong one. <laughs> That's the sign right there. Follow the trail. Well, it would come back around this way. It's a loop, remember? Oh, so we'd be fine still. I see you drinking water. Oh, yeah, pretty all the, the snow on the... You see the tree? The water tastes so good. It looks pretty, huh? Oh, wow. It's very pretty. I think we found the tower. I love that we're the only ones here. That's fucking amazing. Pretty close to off season. Still like springtime. It's on a Monday. It's perfect. Okay. Spring break is over. This is it, guys. It's shaped like a penis. <laughs> it was to commemorate the life and death of his personal friend, Theodore Teddy Roosevelt. Mm hmm. We have more questions than answers. Like, for example, the guy that um, that had this built for him, he died three months after it was made. Because he died of a broken heart. Yes, exactly. And it says um, the completion of his dream. dream with the dead. Like, that's your dream? To build this for your friend? <laughs> and once it was completed, you died three months later. Like you said, of a broken heart. It makes sense to me. Does it make sense to you? He was buried above Deadwood Cemetery on Mount Moriah, where he would have, where he would have an unimpeded view of Mount Roosevelt, so he could look at him forever. See what I'm saying? These are very steep. Oh hell no! Are you gonna go in there with Gizmo? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Thank God for this camera. It does light up when it's a little bit dark. Oh my God. These are very steep. See, it lit up. You can't see it, but the camera lit up. Oh, this is cute. Wow. And the fresh air. That smells really nice. This is the overlook of the trail. To ride. Yeah. It feels good to have a Jeep um, during moments like these because it feels like we're off roading even though we're really oh. not. <laughs> Gizmo is not having it though. Look at him. It's like, whoa. Yeah, Gizmo's not having it. Yeah, he says he hates this. it. <laughs> I'm leaving them behind. Gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Sorry.
see you guys later dogs are not allowed, allowed up here i am at mount moriah cemetery where wild bill was buried he died at, in his 30s but he's a great, he was a great poker player he had lots of wins and he would always go to the same saloon same seat in the back where he can face towards the door and for whatever reason one day his seat was not available that day instead he had to sit next to the door back turned against the doorway and in came someone i forgot his name but once i find out i'll let y'all know he came in and shot him right in the back of his head killed him right on the spot he was holding a hand um have you guys heard of uh dead man's hand it's because of the hand he had which was i think a's and eights <laughs> Wild Bill was a famous lawman, a scout, a gunfighter. Remember, they used to do shootouts during those Western times. Calamity Jane was a rugged individual known for her boisterous lifestyle and varied occupations, including cook, laundress, prostitute, bullwhacker, and a storyteller. She came to Deadwood in 1876 and acquired a reputation as a notorious alcoholic. That's her. But, ooh, yeah, there was brothels here, y'all. There was plenty of pr prostitution, gambling, shootouts. It was the Wild West. Someone just put a scarf on her? Yeah, that's funny. It's the alcoholic right here. This location here, that is the original spot of where Wild Bill was shot and killed. Site of capture of the assassin Jack McCall, who shot Wild Bill Hickok. So that's his name, you guys, is... Jack McCall who killed him. Right. That's where they captured him, right here? That's where the shootout. It wasn't even a shootout, that's the thing. He, oh, he got him? him from the back of his head. He oh. just walked in and just shot him. So they captured him right away, huh? I mean, it's a small ass town, where he's gonna go? It's like he kinda knew, right? Like, by going in to kill him, like he's, he's gonna serve time. Yeah. He should've just killed himself, if that's the case. You get what I'm saying? Why, why is that your so Because who wants to spend their whole life in prison? Somebody who wants the clout? <laughs> I guess you could still have a whole life there, still have friends. And you could, you know, be like, I'm the one who took out all Bill. Well, it's 52180. So, recent. So, 1980, the brothel finally closed. That's crazy. That is insane. That's so recent. I guess Moe gets to have his own little bowl. Yeah, his bowl so of cute. ice cream. Big Dipper. Big Dipper. They give him a free um, milk okay, bone. Yeah. Hold him back, hold him back. Look at him acting like a damn fool. He thinks he's about to do a shootout right now. <laughs> he's on the wild wild. Get no stop There's it. No. Oh, hey. No. Yeah, okay. No barking. Why can't you behave? Acting a fool. Can't take you nowhere, boy. You can't take us nowhere. <laughs> he's gonna go crazy though. There's another dog walking over here. Um, the title of the car. Sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. He's a talker. Yeah. He's all spicy sometimes. <laughs> this is the northwestern yak jerky, regular salt and pepper. Okay. Now the flavor's coming. Mm -hmm. And it's good because mm -hmm. it doesn't have That's all the gross. preservatives in it. The juiciness is coming out though. I'm I just had to bite a little bit. Okay. Yak. Is yak um part of like the bison family or something? I don't think it is a bison because they have yak milk. I think it's a different animal. A cow? Related to the cow? Like distant cousin or something? I would say distant cousin. I think they're all ah. hooved animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this iced coffee is so freaking good. So oh, freaking good. Oh my god. I'm so happy we stopped here. And it's so, and it's so nice we got like shade too. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna leave Deadwood. We just came for those little spots. Um, you have to come. Like, if you're in South Dakota and if you're in the Black Hills area, you have to come to Deadwood. It's like one of the popular spots to go to. We're gonna leave this town and head over to Rapid City. Mm -hmm. That's our next destination. We're gonna get something to eat because we is hungry, child. It is time. We're gonna duck a Jeep. My very first Jeep, I'm going to duck. It smells over they, it. I gotta hurry up before they get to their car. A regular yellow ducky. 
Gotta I wonder if they, but they had ducks. I wonder which ones they gotta had. Gotta keep it old school, so. Wait, Gizmo? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> of South Dakota has those signs. So you see these signs driving down the highway that says think and what else does it say? Why die. Why die. Because look it's the sharp curves ahead. Yeah and it says why die and, check and your speed. those are markers of car crashes of fatalities that happened. So instead of flowers like you know people usually do they put signs. Scary because there's lots of them. Like damn, that many people, that many car accidents, that many deaths, shit. It makes you think more than just when you see flowers and like a memorial thing. We are in Rapid City. So, this is our apartment for the week, an Airbnb. And then we have the bedroom. We definitely would live here. Look at this big ass walk in closet. Huge with the whole safe in there. Look at that. Huge. The bedroom. Cute little bathroom. And that's the tour. <laughs> Rapid City is gonna be our main place for the week for our vacation because it's like central, right? So like everything mm -hmm. that we're gonna be exploring, look at her exploring, like Dora the Explorer. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna cook for us or what? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to see what they have here to work with, so we can go to the store. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh boy, it was only Deadwood from here was only 45 minutes, so that was great. I'm happy. Gizmo, are you happy? He ran, he came from the room. Uh -huh. he, I just hear his footsteps running over here. He's making Gizmo. sure that we didn't go nowhere. Gizmo, what happened? What happened? What is she doing? <laughs> My poor dog, he's all stressed out. Doesn't know what's happening. Where the fuck we're going, what we're doing. He's like, do we live here now? <laughs> it's gonna scare Gizmo. Wait, wait, no, look at how fucking beautiful. No, don't record me, record our okay, So it's raining, thunderstorms, lightning. And it's hailing. Oh, of it's hailing, my car is not protected. Here we go. Oh, my poor car. I hope this, it doesn't get any damage from the hail. But the lightning is fucking beautiful. There's nowhere to put your car, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, South Dakota is welcoming us. That's what it is. Hard. Well, I'm used to lightning. <laughs> She's a California girl. They don't it don't rain that I'm much so in excited. California. So I'm used to being in Illinois, but look at how much it's fucking coming. But I have a garage in Illinois <laughs> to protect my car. You know what I'm saying? I don't got that protection here. Damn. Oh my god, how come you're you're like missing the most gorgeous fucking like, <laughs> I'm just worried about my car, girl. We're spending the rest of the evening indoors today, which is fine because we didn't have many things planned today. We did everything that we wanted to do, um, so nothing was affected at all. And tomorrow it's supposed to rain as well, but we're gonna be indoors, so we're gonna be fine still. No plans have been canceled, no Hopefully plans have been weather. damaged, none of that. Hopefully not yes. <laughs> 